What's up guys, XLWI Kiwis here and welcome to my first proper FIFA 22 tutorial video. Um, it is going to be a shoeing tutorial today as you can tell by the title. Uh, just a little insight, I am currently 35 and 2 with one draw in rivals. I'm currently Div 2 but expecting to be in the Elite Division too. I'm qualified for foot champs as well, um, so I've been playing pretty well. And one of the reasons is because I'm scoring a lot. Um, so yeah, I've got four different ways of scoring today. Most of them you'll already know. It's more the fact of when to take the shots than, um, than it is like what shot to take. So a lot of people have so many shots in the game, but they're just either from the wrong positions or they're just waiting too long to take it. So that being said, there is four different ways. Um, if you do like this video, if you could leave a like and subscribe, that really would be appreciated. And comment down below if you'd like any more tutorials. But without further ado, let's get into the tips. So at number four, we are going to have ball roll around the keeper. Now, if people have played FIFA 21, they'll know about this quite a lot because that's how most goals were scored on FIFA 21. Um, if you don't know how to do it, right stick, PlayStation or Xbox, all you do, flick it right or left. The, uh, the right stick, that's it. Like, just walk with a player, even sprint with a player, click it right, your ball roll right, click it left, your ball roll left. Simple as that. Um, I'm going to show you a few clips now of where I think is good to do it and how you should do it. So as I say, I still think ball rolls are really good this year. Um, they don't work very well if you do it when the keeper's far away from you. But if they're close enough to you, as you can see, I see him sprinting at me. So I do the ball roll. One real good thing is the defenders on the line don't clear it anywhere near as much this FIFA as they used to. I see, I see the sprint, the keeper coming at me. It's more this year that if you see the keeper coming at you and you don't think a shot's going to go in anyway... If they're already sprinting at you, what have you got to lose to try a ball roll? i say it doesn't work as much as last year, but you can see it very rarely gets blocks on the line now, which is why I still think it's a really good way of scoring goals this year. So at number three, we do have finesse shots. Um, I only put them at number three because I know a lot of people have done videos on these, and I actually don't think they're as good as people say they are. Obviously, they're still a good way of scoring, and I couldn't leave them off the list. But it's a number three because I do think there's two better ways of scoring. Um, finesse shots this FIFA, if you green them, they're going to go in from pretty much anywhere. You could green them from Narnia and they'll fly in the top corner. But I'm going to show you a few clips here of actually decent situations of where to finesse shot without actually needing to green. So one tip that I will give with finesse shots is ball rolling first really does help you create an angle. And also the keeper takes quite a while to get from one side to the other after you've done a ball roll. If you do a straight turn, the keeper sort of jumps across. Whereas if you do a slow turn, he sort of waddles across and just goes across a lot slower. As you can see, the ball roll takes it perfectly onto the left foot for a lovely finesse angle as well. Again, you don't need to ball roll. does help create a better angle though. Um, here, you'll actually see this is all about timing. Because if I pause it here, look at the keeper slowly take a step out here. So I paused it. He takes a step out, which again means that he cannot get back quick enough. He's not going to be able to dive or step back quick enough to be able to save it. And as always, if you greet a shot from the edge, it's probably going in. Now at number two, we do have the driven pass across goal. Um, this is going way back to like FIFA 19, FIFA 20 and FIFA 18 days. Um, this is purely... You get the ball out wide, you run to the byline, you whack it in the middle. Usually in RB and A, um, or R1 and R1 and X on PlayStation, but RB and A on Xbox, literally just run down the line, RB and A in, shoot first time. I don't know why, but first time shots when you're passing a cross goal on this game are so good. Again, I'm going to show you a few clips. Like, if you shoot normally, shooting's not that great. If you do it first time off an RB and A, it flies into the top corner. Um, here's a few more clips to show you more in detail of how they work. So, as I said before, pass to the cross goals are so OP because the shots are so good. If I uh, pause this here, that shot really shouldn't be going in. Dembele's not got good shooting, he's facing away from goal, he's on a turn, but the shot is so good. Um, a lot of the times as well, I will literally just spam a cross goal in when I've got nothing on. Like, I'm not specifically aiming for any player here. I just know that if I whack it across, the guy near post very rarely blocks it, and it locks onto your striker a lot of the time. As you can see there, it's clipped on two of his players, none of them have got anywhere near it, and it's gone straight to my player. 
I mean, that's just a simple pass across. But again, the shot is so good. Again, simple layback there, but it's all about the finish. In this position, Ben Yedder should not be scoring this shot first time. But off a simple pass, RBNA or just normal pass across, first time shots are so good. I wouldn't recommend taking a touch because, as I say, mainly it's the first time shots that are just OP. If you do try and take a touch, they lose all power. But yeah, first time shots from passes across goal, really good again. And finally, in the number one spot, we do have early shots across the keeper. I cannot express enough how important that early shot across the keeper is. Doesn't particularly matter how close or far, or far out, it's just early. Because for some reason on this game, keepers do some weird animation where they either take a step forward or a step to the side. And if you shoot during that animation, they can't get out of it quick enough to be able to then dive far enough to be able to save the ball. So earlier the better. Again, I'm going to show you some uh, clips here to show you where is the best situation to do it and just why it's so OP. So as we get into this first clip, you can see simple ball through. But in this situation, as you can see, the keeper is running out to me. If I take a touch, keeper's just going to smother it. But if we pause it here, you can see he's taken one step forward, one step left, and there's no way he's going to be able to get back across goal in time to save it. Pretty much exactly the same clip here. As you can see when I slow it down, the keeper is sprinting out towards me. You shoot early, there's no way he's going to be able to stop and dive quick enough to save it. If I take a touch, I'm just going to end up sprinting into the keeper. But taking it early, again, keeper running across goal. It's just like real life. There's no way they can stop and dive back the way they're coming from in quick speed. Not at least anywhere near the corner. They're just never going to be able to do it quick enough. Again, they're all first time shots. Messi there hammers it with his right foot. Keepers walk it out. There's just no way he can react quick enough. Which is why I think early shots across the keeper are so good. The keepers just can't handle them very well, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, those are my four tips to hopefully help you guys score more goals. A um, couple of things. I would like to have had more clips. Unfortunately, they were literally all just taken from like one two hour stream that I did because I haven't really recorded any gameplay other than that. And again, I would have liked the quality of gameplay to be higher, like the actual um, look of it. However, because it's on stream, the quality of the video and the gameplay does go down um, to when I'm not off stream. Because off stream, I record it without a face cam on a completely different um, editing software and the picture does come out better. Unfortunately, that's all I had to work with today. But, as I say, hopefully it helps you guys. If you did enjoy it, then leaving a like um, and subscribing to the channel really would mean a lot. And as I said before, if you do have anything um, to suggest me to do and what you'd need help on, then be sure to let me, do, uh, let me know down in the comments. But for now, that is going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thank you for watching.